You may be able to get in and out of bed by yourself after your hip replacement, but sometimes you might need help. If it is difficult or painful for you to get in or out of bed, having your caregiver there will make it easier. This demonstration shows a safe way to get in and out of bed for all hip replacement patients. First, we will show you how to get out of bed in the morning. You can sleep on pillows to raise your head and upper body. Prop yourself up on your arms. Bend your non-surgical leg and push with your heel to help you move to the edge. If it is painful, your caregiver can help by putting one hand on the back of your leg above the knee. The other hand should be placed on the back of your leg on your calf. This provides good support for your entire leg. Your caregiver should be close to you and bend their knees and not their back while helping you. Be sure to avoid twisting your surgical hip or crossing your legs. Keep your legs together as you move to the edge of the bed. This will decrease your risk of dislocation. Once you are close to the edge of the bed, scoot forward to place your feet on the floor. Your caregiver can continue to support your leg as needed. Your caregiver should put your walker in front of you. Bend your non-surgical leg so your foot is closer to the bed. Slightly straighten your surgical leg in front of you. This will be more comfortable when you stand and you won't bend your hip too much. Push up from the bed to stand, then reach for the walker. Once you stand up straight and feel steady on your feet, you are ready to begin walking. Now we will show you how to get back into bed at night. Back up to the bed until you feel the back of your knees touching the bed. The safest bed height is at the height of your knee or taller. Kick your surgical leg out in front of you. Reach back for the bed to slowly lower yourself into sitting. Put your hands behind you on the bed and scoot backwards at an angle towards your pillow. Be sure to avoid twisting your surgical hip or crossing your legs and keep your legs close together. Your caregiver can help you lift your surgical leg up on the bed. Bend your non-surgical leg and push with your heel to help you move up in the bed. If needed, your caregiver can continue to help move your surgical leg. Put a pillow in between your legs to avoid crossing and to prevent dislocating if you prefer to sleep on your side. It can be difficult to get in and out of bed if your mattress is high. You will need to get a sturdy step stool. It should have rubber tips on the legs so it does not slide on the floor. It should also have a non-slip surface to stand on. Do not use a children's inexpensive plastic step stool. These are not sturdy enough for adults. Once you are seated at the edge of the bed, have your caregiver put the step stool in front of you and give you your walker. Push off of the bed to stand up on the step stool with both feet. Then hold on to the walker in front of you for support. Push the walker in front of you and step down with your operated leg onto the floor. Then step down with your non-operated leg. You're now ready to walk with your walker. When getting into bed when your mattress is high, have your caregiver put the step stool by the head of the bed, about a foot below your pillow. Walk with your walker to the step stool and turn around so that the step stool is directly behind you. Step up backwards onto the step stool with your non-operated leg while using the walker for support. Then step up onto the step stool with your operated leg. You will now be standing on the step stool while using the walker as support. Reach back for the bed with one arm to support yourself as you sit down slowly. You are now ready to lie down in the bed.